I'll be doing a review of the new Decathlon uh, low chair which is uh, of similar design to the uh, famous uh, Helinox chairs so I have here the Helinox chair 1, chair 0 of course the uh, Decathlon chair alright so uh, maybe first we should go into the price uh, of course why I'm so excited about this is because it is only 45 Singapore dollars well, uh, the chair one is a hundred dollars more at hundred and forty-five dollars, and the chair zero is at uh, one hundred and sixty dollars. Right. So of course the price difference is quite big, but uh, with regards to its uh, usage and quality, maybe we will do a short review. Um, <coughs> Size-wise. They are all pretty much the same. Maybe the chair zero is uh, slightly slimmer, uh, slightly more compact. Um, Weight-wise, the chair zero is also the lightest uh, at 0.45 kg according to the website. While the Helinox chair one comes in next at slightly less than a kilo at 0.96, about 0.96. While the uh, low chair from Decathlon is the heaviest, uh, not too much at about 1.1 kilograms. So I think it's manageable, consider the, the price and how much difference it is uh, as compared to the two Helinox chairs. Right, so I'm going to open them up and then we are going to uh, take a look at the quality and whether it is comfortable and uh, whether it is stable all right so here i've set up all three chairs on my left is the helinox chair one in the middle is the decathlon low chair and on my right is the helinox chair zero they all the three of them look quite similar in terms of their structure and uh, style so um, Let's look at some of the differences and uh, the first one would be the height. Chair zero is much lower than the other two. Uh, maybe that makes it a little bit more stable and you feel uh, closer to the ground when you are seated on it. But that means that you have to bend your legs a little more which makes uh, these two slightly more comfortable. The other thing is the, the base. Uh, you can see that um, the base for the Decathlon low chair is slightly larger as compared to at least uh, the chair zero you can put it side by side you can see that okay which probably makes it a little bit more stable i'm gonna try to push it back um, hopefully using the same strength and see what happens okay so let's try one more time and see whether it falls all right that's quite easy let me try with the decathlon chair let's try with a bit harder Okay, so it's quite difficult to fall back. Oh. Okay, so that takes quite a little bit of strength for it to be pushed back. Uh, I think the Decathlon low chair is slightly more stable, at least comparing to the Helinox chair zero. Probably because the Helinox chair one is uh, pretty light. Uh, the next thing I think the making the big difference is the material of the seat. Um, you can see for yourself with regards to ventilation I think Helinox chair one uh, is the best followed by the Decathlon low chair uh, the chair zero has quite very little ventilation there are two gaps in the middle um, one thing that I would like to point out is that the Decathlon chair has this extra pocket over here that allows you to put in some small belongings like maybe a water bottle, wallet, or keys or mobile phone right so in conclusion I think all three of them are great chairs I've used uh, the two Helinox chairs for many years and I find them light, compact and very stable and comfortable at the same time but now that the that Decathlon has uh, the low chair at $45, uh, it's going to be hard to choose the Helinox chairs 
uh, again, uh, which is at many times the price. The chair zero at hundred and sixty dollars, and the chair one at hundred and forty five dollars. Um, if you have lots to carry and you have uh, and you are traveling a lot, uh, I would say that chair zero is worth the price because of its weight at zero point four five kg. Uh, that's less than half of the weight of the Decathlon chair but I think for basic use if you are going for a short camping trip or if you are going for a picnic maybe or a fishing trip I would say that the Decathlon chair is good enough so um, if you have any comments questions uh, do leave it below uh, and let me know what you think about the three chairs thanks